our new series, Real Food. We're exploring the way food is produced, sourced, and distributed. Today we look at how brown bananas at breakfast could be a thing of the past. A Southern California startup called Appeal Scientist says its product can extend the life of fruits and vegetables by up to five times. Time-lapse video shows how it works. Ben Tracy shows us the food technology is being touted as the biggest revolution since refrigeration. On this lush hillside farm near Santa Barbara, it's not just the views that grab your attention, but the rare produce on the trees, including these aptly named caviar limes. Once you pick it, there's a, there's a timer going off. Caviar limes are prized by restaurants and bars because of their acidity and texture, but they only last a week to 10 days after they're picked, making shipping and distribution difficult. That's where Appeal Sciences CEO James Rogers comes in. Rusky teamed up with him more than two years ago. We use food to preserve food. That simple. That simple. They start with organic material like these frozen grape skins. They then extract certain food molecules and mix them up in different combinations. The powder, called Edipeel, is mixed with water <laughs> and sprayed on fresh produce. When it dries, it leaves behind this imperceptibly thin barrier of plant material on the outside of the produce. And that thin barrier slows down the rate that water gets out of the produce and it slows down the rate that oxygen gets in. And by doing that, we can naturally preserve the shelf life of fresh produce. How much longer does the average piece of fruit last with your product on it? Each kind of produce has different um, characteristics. We can get extensions anywhere from twice the shelf life of a piece of produce to five times the shelf life of a piece of produce. So you're basically monitoring how this lemon is dying over time? Exactly. This time-lapse room is where they study the results. By day five, the untreated strawberries on top rot, but the treated ones on the bottom are still good to eat. It's FDA approved, and the thin layer it leaves behind is edible and tasteless. It would replace the wax that is often used on grocery store produce. You're gonna have some people who look at this and say, this is Franken food. I don't want something sprayed on my food because that reminds me of a pesticide. How do you get over that hurdle with those people? The way we've really tried to do this is try to be very open with people about exactly what we're doing. So we're taking stuff that you're eating already in every bite of your produce, and we're just reapplying exactly where it is on the produce. We're putting it on the outside. The company hopes their product will help with global hunger in places without access to refrigeration. It could also reduce food waste. Here in the U.S., 24% of produce is tossed out before it reaches the grocery store. Another 28% is thrown out at home. But food waste experts say no one technology is going to solve a problem this big. Fundamentally, this problem is driven by our habits around food. And so we can't technology our way out of that. I think it needs to be paired with really careful shopping. Appeal has raised $40 million from investors. Right now, they work with several growers and are in talks with large produce brands. It remains to be seen whether those using the product would pass the cost along to consumers. For farmers like Rusky, Appeal is buying him valuable time. We've been able to do two or three times the shelf life, and I'm super happy to see the results. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Santa Barbara, California. Well, I think that's a good idea. I wonder if they can keep that banana from going brown that's inside my purse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once it goes brown, it just doesn't look so great. Thanks for yeah. sharing these but, details. They're lovely. <laughs> but I want to try. Have you guys tried the caviar limes? No. 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 But this, this is a real game changer. I it mean, will be. It's yeah. a real game changer. Absolutely.